Hi, I'm Linda Fenstermaker. I'm with Osborne Quality Seeds. I'm the West Coast and Mountain Area Sales Rep. And I'm also the um, go-to radicchio expert. <laughs> um, and we're here at our trial field for this year. Um, and we are gonna go through some of our late season varieties um, that come off around this time, November, December, um, that you can sell in those months and then also store in your cooler through winter. We have over 50 different varieties in this trial. Um, and we have checks from the lineup that we have in our catalog uh, against some new options from different vendors that we haven't worked with before. Uh, and we also have a range of OP varieties and hybrid varieties. There's just a little bit more range with the OPs. Uh, and then the hybrids are gonna have better yields and better uniformity. So for late season growing, the hybrids can be a really nice option because you can go through your field all at once and harvest everything and store it. Whereas the OPs, sometimes you have to come back and, for back and come again um, to harvest everything. So you, with hybrids, you get a little bit more all in one pick, which is nice for storage. The late season varieties that we have generally range from about 110 days to 145 days to maturity. So you can plant them at the same time as your early fall varieties in late June or around the summer solstice. Um, and they will come off and be ready to harvest later in the year. So you, you can build into your planting schedule a succession without actually changing your planting dates just by having different, a range of days of maturity with the varieties that you're, you're growing. On our website, under growing information, we have a good amount of materials that kind of describe different slotting options and the different types of radicchio. So if you're new to growing radicchio, that can be a really nice resource for you. Um, as well as our uh, chart in our catalog has a nice breakdown of the dates of maturity and the slots. So you can kind of learn about that. And it also has, in our new catalog, we have a symbol for storage. So you can see which ones we recommend for better storability. Another growing tip for late season um, radicchio growing is to treat it like a cabbage where when it's ready, when the head is of the desired size and density, to just go ahead and harvest it. Because in a field, as you can see here, it's pretty wet. <laughs> um, so the radicchio is continu gonna continue to, to take up moisture and um, it won't bolt per se, but you could get splitting or you could get more rotting and you can also get more of an elongated core. Whereas if you harvest it and store it in your cooler, you can peel back the layers that kind of decompose in the cooler and have a really nice head that's still at optimal harvest, at its optimal harvest point. So that's kind of a good rule of thumb. Um, just to have more high quality radicchio. This is Rubro, which is the latest maturing Kyoja type that we have in our catalog. It's a hybrid, which is nice. So you can get, um, it, they all kind of come on at once. So you can harvest all of them and store them and they store very well. And these are at 145 days. So for us, they're not quite ready. Um, we seed it in late June. So they uh, need a little bit more time, but there are a few heads that are getting to be a nice size. So these are just very uniform, nice classic flavor and a really classic look with the wide, uh, oops. Classic look with the wide ri white rib and the nice bright red deep um, leaves. <clears throat> so this one is a good recommendation for people that want to just harvest a bunch and store it and um, sell out of their storage. One of our most popular late season varieties is Rosalba, which is the specialty pink variety that um, has become very popular. Nice pink color, 
um, in once it gets cold. So generally with late season radicchio, 25 degrees Fahrenheit is kind of your um, your benchmark. So if temperatures go below 25, you might consider putting reme or some sort of protection, or if the heads are big enough to harvest them. Um, if the the later season varieties are bred to have bigger frames and more protection of leaves so they do handle the cold better than the, your earlier varieties but sometimes below 25 and into the teens gets pretty cold for radicchio so as you can see the rosalba is still maturing up this is a small head and it's still forming but um, it's starting to get that nice coloration and the leaves are starting to come curl in on itself um, so this is a really nice one and some people do harvest it smaller and and um, put it into salad mixes for that bright color or harvest the full heads and do mixed cases with other late season types so it's a pretty versatile radicchio and that color just everyone is so um, attracted to that it's a really nice one for um, the winter when there's not very many nice bright colorful leaf options this is colonia tardiva it's a late maturing verona type um, veronas are tighter and smaller and a little more pointed than a kyoja with um, similar red leaves uh, and the white ribs so this one is days of maturity are about uh, 110 days so it's a little bit earlier than Rosalba and some of the later ones but it's a nice one to either uh, grow in the late fall and then harvest for winter storage or um, leave in the field for a little bit and harvest out of the field just peeling back the kind of rotted outer layers and there's a nice little head This is Lucrezia. It's a later maturing for late fall, early winter Castelfranco type. We have it listed as 110 days to maturity. So it's not quite your very late season varieties and it doesn't store as well as some of the later days to maturity ones, but it's a nice one for harvesting in late fall and early winter. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of um, some mill or there's a little bit of leaf damage on the outer leaves but the inner leaves are looking really nice still so it has the classic speckling and a nice floretted look um, this one's still a little bit small Here's a nice heavier one. So it has nice speckling in the leaves. And the very nice internal coloration with the light, light kind of buttery yellow and the pink speckles. This is Costa Rosa, which is a specialty Verona type. Um, this is a smaller one, um, but it's still filling in a little bit. Uh, it's really late to mature in 130 days. So it's good for your later season harvest and also stores fairly well. It's, re it's very specialty because it has the pretty pink ribbing. Um, and as you can see that goes all the way through so it's really beautiful ribbing um, and this one does have some off types so sometimes the leaves are a little more variegated um, it's an op so it it tends to have a little bit more off types but it's a very specialty variety so it's it's um just has beautiful coloration 
Another option for late season radicchio is growing the forcing types. So we have um, a couple in our catalog that are ones that you grow in the field and as they're starting to kind of fall, the leaves start falling and dying back, then you dig them with the roots and store them in a dark, cool place and they will force. So by taking away the light, it causes this kind of new growth to start that on these types are um, a curling inwards and the white of the stems get really bright and vibrant. So it's another option for doing the late season where you force indoors. The two forcing varieties that we have is Sile Tardivo and Sile Precoce. Sile Precoce is slightly earlier days maturity and the Sile Tardivo are later. So you can plant both of them at the same time and create kind of a, a succession in your forcing because they'll mature and be ready for forcing at different times. There's a lot of really interesting uh, information online about forcing that uh, by Italian farmers and uh, it's a very common practice in Italy so there's a lot of information out there on forcing uh, by the Italian experts. We have the most extensive array of radicchio seed available in the U.S. and we work hard to trial every year and to find seeds that work for different slotting and uh, offer you a variety of options and different radicchio types. So be sure to check out our catalog and our website. My contact information is at the end of the video and we look forward to working with you with your radicchio needs.